Hello Internet World, it's Chris Trolla at Arbutus RV here in Nanaimo. Uh, I'm going to do a quick walk around today of this 2021 Rockwood 2506S. Let's check it out. So this not so little Rockwood is actually just a recent trade-in. Uh, the folks who had it were looking for a little more space, so they switched up to a two-slide unit. Uh, so this one is up for grabs. Uh, the model year is 2021. Uh, clock's in at just over 25 feet interior space and a little more than that exterior. Build date was December of 2020. It's got a gross weight of 6,804 pounds. Coming around the side here, we do have your outdoor shower. Um, all the Rockwoods do come with these nice uh, power stabilizer jacks, so uh, set up and take down as a breeze. Uh, it's equipped with twin 30 pound propane tanks. A nice hitch, uh, power hitch to take it on and off the, your tow vehicle. Uh, you've got dual battery, there's space for dual batteries on there. I'm not sure if this one's gonna come with it. Coming around to the side, we have got exterior storage, which is kind of nice. Looks like they've got the outdoor kitchen and power cord in here. A uh, tandem axle, alloy wheels, septic dump right there. And just on the roof, I can see the solar panel peeking there. Now around to the back side, you've got hookups for your camera. That's gonna be a Furion setup, so you can actually opt for a five or seven inch display in your tow vehicle, and that connects via Bluetooth. Now hitch down low for those of you who like your bikes. Uh, so 300 pounds max capacity on that hitch. Uh, water station back here. And now check this out. This is kind of a handy idea. Nice big storage pod slides in underneath uh, the bed inside. It's just an extra place to put things, which is kind of great, especially when you're thinking about camping chairs and whatnot. Really large awning on this one. I want to probably clock it in about 12 feet. Outdoor kitchen, you don't see that too commonly on a couple's trailer, but here she is. Two burner cooktop, little 110 uh, bar fridge. You can also uh, still hook up the griddle and then you'll have a tabletop as well. That was on the other side uh, in storage. Uh, Furion TV connector, so if you uh, like to enjoy some TV outside, you can. Just have the little station here. Now, moving inside, just to close the door to be away from traffic, nice and quiet. You've got a really large dinette here. Now, the cool thing about this dinette is that table's free floating, uh, so you can take that outside, use it for uh, a cook station or just uh, for additional prep space here in the kitchen area. That said, I'm not sure it actually needs it. This has got a great countertop. Uh, the oven on here is uh, a mid level one as far as uh, its size. So it gives you a little extra room in there. Three burner stove top. A little bit smaller microwave, but still functional. Good amount of storage space throughout. Even a pantry. Now, a big win on this trailer uh, that a lot of people seem to miss out on nowadays is the dual mode fridge. Uh, so, this is still your old school Dometic uh, Propane or 110 dual mode fridge. Uh, these have uh, all been uh, all been but eliminated in the RV industry. Everything's been going to, uh, very steadily to 12 volt compressor fridges. So for those of you who like the boondock and just like that security of what you know, uh, this trailer still has it. Here is your stereo system. Uh, this will power the speakers inside and outside. Uh, you can also connect uh, by HDMI. Here in TV with soundbar and then down low electric fireplace, add a little extra ambiance and some heat. There we go, and moving to the bathroom. Huge amounts of storage in here. So right behind the toilet, you got a linen closet. Shower is residential style. Decent size, I'd fit in there. I'm six foot, average size guy. Medicine cabinet, your vanity. And let's check out for storage. Yep, even more storage underneath the sink. Now in the bedroom, this is a treat. Uh, they've given you a queen walk around bed. Now I will say that the person sleeping on this side will have to do a little bit of shuffling to get out, uh, but still this is a nice touch. Nice amounts of overhead storage as well. Um, so you're gonna have space to kind of hang your clothes into your bed. Nice and hangers up 
there. And then just a smaller, I think that's like a 22 inch TV, 22, 24, with a little bit more storage. So this was just a real brief walkthrough. I want to thank you for uh, spending some time with me to watch this today. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. I'll link a uh, phone number at the end of this video. Have yourselves a great day.